Hello, and welcome to my third Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Best Class Setup video, and today I'm covering the HBRA3, which in my opinion is the best medium range assault rifle in the game. I think it's the best medium range assault rifle, as it has a slower fire rate than the bow, as I can't really control the bow long range, and it has a higher damage than most of the other assault rifles, so in the close range you should be able to win it with less bullets than the other person. One of my favourite maps playing with this gun on is Solar. I like to go and sit up on top of the catwalk and just watch over the pump room and the main pool. So going on to the attachments that I run on it, I run Red Dot because I don't really like iron sights at long range. The iron sights are okay for close range but at long range you can't really see the enemies that easy with them. I run Foregrip to control the recoil a little bit and the Quick Draw Grip for the close range and so that you can acquire your medium range targets a bit quicker. As with all my classes, I run the Semtex, as I, as I still think it's the best grenade in the game. I think it's way better than anything else, just because of how useful it is. You can stick it to walls, you can stick it to people, and it doesn't have that big of a drop-off, so you can sometimes get like a cross-map kills with it. As with most of my best class setups, I've left perk to empty for my perk, and I run on perk 1, low profile, just to keep me off the minimap, and in perk 3, I run blaster press to keep me off the minimap again, and scavenger so I don't run out of ammo and I can keep using my favourite gun that I don't have to go and pick up another gun which I might not be as good at. And finally going on to my perks which I've slightly changed up from the other best class setups that I use. I run UAV but the UAV is upgraded with extra time, extra points and support. This means that my UAV will be up in the air for longer. I'll get I think it's 15 instead of 10 points per assist and I don't lose my points towards it whenever I die. In my opinion the support upgrades the most important out of the three. As in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, you do get spawn killed a lot, so it's the most effective as you can get your UAV, even though you keep on dying off spawns and it's not even your fault, it's just the game that's just messing you up. And the final two perks are System Hack, which is useful for making sure the enemies can't see you, and Bombing Run, which in my opinion is the most important streak in the game and the best streak in the game, as you can basically wipe out the whole team if they've just spawned, and you can get so many kills that can help you towards your UAV. So that's most everything I've got to say about this best class setup. You do want to slow down more than you do with the bow. You want to play it slower as the bow has a high fire rate, so it doesn't matter if you get into those close range encounters. Although this has the higher, although the HBR if it does have high damage, you still won't really win those close gunfights. So you want to sort of like stay back and you want to like protect more. So if you have enjoyed this class and you think it looks quite good, please give it a go. Let me know in the comments once you've tried it. And please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.